Traditionally, you think about journalism as photography or text, but the reality is that with social media and streaming and the internet and mobile phones, storytelling is changing too. New storytellers are rising, uh, new formats are coming through that process. Uh, newsrooms are changing where, uh, sadly enough, the photo departments are shrinking and the video departments are growing. And I think it's important to recognize the really incredible work that's happening in this field. So the Online Video of the Year Award looks at both short news videos and longer uh, doc-style videos. So we're looking for pieces that are masterfully done in terms of craft, but then also looking for pieces that are about an important and timely story. Real challenges of 2019, like a, a, a zoom into a look into that year. Something that we are not going to forget in one year or five years. Something that is fresh, something that I haven't seen that also allows me to, to participate, no? It's not uh, somebody telling me a truth. Sometimes you finish a piece and then afterwards you have more questions. And we actually thought that that sometimes really works, that that's a good thing. Ya abrió fuego, me llevo un perdigón en el ojo. Carabinero me pesca del pelo y me arrastra hasta la camioneta. Se empezaron a burlar de mí que, que iba a perder la vista, un ojo menos. This production was um, about uh, protests in Chile, and it actually had exceptional access to this trauma unit where where these Chilean protesters were being shot in the eye, and it was actually. Um, a discovery that there was a potential human rights violation happening right in front of us. It's a mutilation, and it's it's uh, they they do by purpose. You know, people are being mutilated so they cannot come back in the next day and do the same thing. El perdigón lo tengo aquí adentro. Está adentro del ojo ahorita. What what we really valued in that piece is that the story develops as we're watching the video. We meet characters, we have tremendous access. It's very touching and it's also very surprising. Tienes miedo, miedo que, que puede perder el ojo. Pero yo sé que Dios me va a dejar igual. Lo hago como yo estaba. People with mental illness are overrepresented in every aspect of the criminal justice system. So I work on a specialized unit that only deals with people in a mental health crisis. Almost everything about how I respond to calls goes against what most would believe. I'm in plain clothes. I drive an unmarked car. My weapon is concealed. And for the last nine years, the only weapon that I've used is my ability to communicate. This production is, um was very powerful in the way it depicted um, the relationship between a police force and mental illness. I appreciate the intimacy of this piece. We are really up close and have tremendous access with not just the police force, but also with the subjects. You're extremely <laughs> agitated right now and stressed out. <laughs> Broken, I'm shattered, my whole heart is shattered. Okay, you're using words like shattered and broken, okay? If you were my sister, okay, there's no way I would leave you in this condition. It combines two components of individual story, which is very intimate and very deep and very um, uh, touching, and, um, and the system itself. The access that this filmmaker had to actually be part of that is completely outstanding. No one with mental illness deserves to die because they're already dying inside, suffering. We have to change the way culturally that we look at how we succeed in police work. I have an opportunity every single time I'm called to change somebody's perspective.
the chance of reaching day zero is now very likely. This is an issue in Cape Town where uh, the access to water has become limited because of the drought. Um, but then there's also uh, a very different story inside it that there's also like a class difference. So basically richer people can just continue playing golf and have a nice green court. And other people are being busted because they wash their car with drinking water. I've never seen a police officer chasing somebody because he's washing a car because you're not supposed to use the water. No? We get a view of how climate change is actually impacting one community in a very different way than it might be affecting your community. We can no longer ask people to stop wasting water. We now have to force them. It was beautifully done, really, really beautifully done. The artistry in it was amazing. Also with the really poetic images and a great sound design and really smart uh, editing. And it makes climate change a little less abstract. And exposing us that it's already happened. Water crisis, my foot. Do you see any rich white people suffering from a water shortage? Huh? Stand with me. Help!